use the glue here after a bit, uh, substantial uh, use and time. Or as per my strike force, you can see it will start to break through when it can. Hi guys and welcome back to another Carter's Magnum Reviews on the Viper 8.0 Wear and Tear uh, Edition. Alright, just want to go through a few things if you remember the Viper 8.0 Pros from Magnum Boots. Remember the composite toe in front, got the nice uh, bottom waterproof, uh, water, uh, should I say water protected uh, leather bottoms with the Magnum rubber and the soft uh, rub in between or that recoil action that they refer to um, in the marketing As you can see it's been uh, very well effective through the use of the boots um, and of course the other main feature was the YKK zipper which is that over there with the magnum strip that opens up and down here and the inner protective sort of leather like plastic uh, protection also for additional waterproof and dust proofing or the boot itself um, but yeah that's that one so I've had these boots for roughly I've used them since uh, got them in 2019 used them roughly in, from 2020 onwards during the lockdown they've been fantastic boots I've used between these boots as well as um, the strike force uh, magnums and they've both been fantastic boots I've used the strike force more than I've used these the only reason I stopped using these as you can see the boot is in pretty much good condition actually um, and just claim that isn't Popo itself, just FYI, but uh, probably close enough to it. Um, but yeah, as I said with the boot itself, you can see it's in pretty, still decent condition. It's actually not broken anywhere else yet, um, even in the front here. I know usually this is the first section of the mag some Magnum boots tend to uh, lose their glue here after a good uh, substantial uh, use in time. Or as per my strike force, you can see it will start to break through or wear and tear in here. I haven't experienced it with this boot yet, um, inside I can't actually see but yeah if you feel mm, it hasn't quite worn through yet, if it's probably was for another three to six months maybe it'll start piercing through there. But um, yeah the only reason I stopped using this boot was because of this breakage over here. So let me just zoom it in quickly. So you can see it's not the YKK zipper itself that broke, it was actually the zipper part of the, the zipper part that's attached to the boot with the material along here so that was the only thing that uh, unfortunately made these uh, uh, boots inoperable um, or non-operational should I say sorry I'm using the incorrect English here I'm pretty sure but um, regardless um, other than that the boot itself is fantastic I've actually had no issues with the boot and no complaints other than that part breaking however I do suspect due to my own um, this is due to my own fault in terms of when I've been brushing with, uh, with the brush I've been a little bit hard in terms of polishing in terms of my job we have to have shiny boots and I think I might have over time worn out this piece of material over here I only assume that because I suspect the same might just happen here if I look closely there with the autofocus um, it seems to be a bit of a weak spot on that boot for when I'm doing the brushing so it might be me brushing too hard not too hard I don't know um, so I don't give Magnum any discredit there plus I have used these boots in and out um, between this model and the other model um, for the last uh, give or take three years so if you ask me that's the Magnum boots the Vipers 8.0 from Magnum Boots Africa you can buy them in at any of your available uh, high-tech stores as the official supplier or any other reseller for that example so yeah, if you like the review, like the, the feedback, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and that's all I can ask, and I'll keep bringing them more. So goodbye for us, you have to say.